Hey, we're here in the C Space studio here at CES 2023. I'm James Kotecki, and I'm joined by Megan Myungwon Lee, the chairwoman and CEO of Panasonic North America. It's an honor to have you in the C Space studio. Thank you for having me. <laughs> All right, so Panasonic, I think many people have an idea or understand what Panasonic is. Yes. It means, especially here at CES. Yes. In fact, I think you're on the cover. Uh, Panasonic is it's on the- It's not me, but <laughs> we are on the cover. The concept, of, yes, right. exactly. Right. Um, <laughs> and, and so, but how do you define the brand, the overall scope of what Panasonic North America means right now? So Panasonic is a 100 years old company from Japan. In US, we're here 60 years. We started as a consumer electronics company with the TVs and, and phones mm -hmm. and so forth, and we still have the presence in CE um, area. But as of today, what we announced at CES uh, today is all about sustainability. So one thing that we're really excited about near term is our EV battery uh, production that we have been in producing in Reno, uh, Nevada mm -hmm. for several years now, very successfully partnering with Tesla. Yep. We just announced two months ago another uh, large factory in Kansas uh, with $4 billion investment, okay. which will be operating in 2025. We're also showcasing a future sustainability technology, such as uh, perovskite uh, solar cell, that can be printed. Oh, cool. And you can be, uh, it can go on on a wall or, or anywhere, very flexible. Mm -hmm. But also, um, we uh, are showcasing hydrogen, uh, pure hydrogen um, uh, fuel cell, generator technology yeah. wow. that can, uh, in the future, create a manufacturing operation to net zero. So we're really excited. Short term, long term, we have a great path for the sustainability that we can contribute to the environment that we're in. And is the order that you just laid those things out to us kind of the order of how near term they actually are? So you're obviously currently producing the batteries. Oh, yes. Printing solar cells sounds like a little bit further down the road. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> but we want to make sure that we're contributing right now yeah. but also have a path for really net zero. We're committed to net zero um, um, CO2 emission by 2030. It's an ambitious, but we have very specific plans and it's already started. And when you say that you're announcing these sustainability goals, do you want people to think of Panasonic now, first and foremost, as a sustainability company? Is that mm -hmm. the identity that you want to recast? We really do. Panasonic's goal has always been contributing contributing to the society that we're in with a technology and an operation that we can give back to the community with a healthy business in many different ways. Mm -hmm. I am really excited because in the past, we're more of a CE company, mm -hmm. but as of today, we have so much going on that we can uh, really identify our, our company as a business that's really focused in the future the current and future of sustainability. And this is uh, highly resonant with the concept of CES 2023 being yeah. human security yes. for all. And for those right. who don't know, human security is this kind of umbrella concept. Yes. Includes health security, environmental mm -hmm. security, mm -hmm. I, I remember, food security, all these food different security, sorts of things. Right. And I imagine that Panasonic's uh, new, new identity ties right into that. Yes, yes. So I'm really excited. I'm with Panasonic for 35 years, and I don't think we were ever disaligned with our philosophical commitment with our actually um, what we do as a business and it's happening in this market. Has it required Panasonic to change fundamental things at various levels of the business? Mm -hmm. Obviously you can kind of, you know, it's one thing to kind of rebrand things that you're already doing right. or we're going to do, right. but are there other fundamental changes that are happening inside the organization that are required to make this identity shift? So I don't necessarily think it as an identity sh uh, shift. We were always, when we we're a CE company, we had all the R&D and technology and manufacturing within our company. The fact that we're leading uh, EV battery manufacturer is yeah. because we have 100 years of technology in-house that we're always working on. Mm -hmm. So it has been an evolution. We kind of grew up, but it, that's how uh, we evolved as a Panasonic. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not sure if I can necessarily call, call it as a transformation, mm -hmm but definitely an evolution. Yes, yes. Very, and very exciting. Um, yeah. So uh, how does your vision look for the future of mobility and transportation? Right. Obviously we're talking about EVs mm -hmm. um, and maybe eventually hydrogen powered cars, I'm not sure. Right. But kind of, what, what's the vision as you kind of look, because I mean, for a company like Panasonic, especially someone at your level, your job in many ways is to look five, 10 years down the road yeah. and try to understand how we're going to be living our lives. Right. 
So the electrification of transportation is something that we're really passionate about from the providing EV battery. We definitely are now, and we continue to want to be the leading EV battery uh, provider with the technology and quality. We also have uh, a lot of products in, um, that goes into a car, and mm -hmm. we announced a um, lighter and most uh, uh, energy efficient uh, stereo that goes into EV cars. Mm. That saves 67% of the energy because it's lighter huh. and um, fit to the EV uh, cars perfectly. So we have uh, different exciting pro uh, products coming into the market. Mm -hmm. And um, exciting! Uh, it's really exciting to be in that transportation uh, industry. And do you see a future of continued individual car ownership in the next five, ten years, or do you see any kind of significant change toward okay, now I'm going to start using? And there is an alarm going off right uh, <laughs> down the hallway. Um, right. If anybody can hear that, that right. is uh, what's going on right now. <laughs> um, until someone tells me otherwise, we're going to just continue this conversation. If that's okay with you. Yes. Um, okay. So, do you see um, as you look at the future of automotive? Uh -huh. um, do you see people owning their cars still in five to ten years, or do you see everything being, you know, the Uberification of it or self-driving cars kind of take away the need to own a car? I think um, we have the awareness that what works better for the environment, we should try and adopt to that mm -hmm. behavior. I don't think it's going to be easy changing human behavior, mm -hmm. but Panasonic definitely wants to uh, contribute uh, mm -hmm. to the evolution mm -hmm. of a transportation that's mm -hmm. more yeah. eco-friendly. And of course, part of that vision, as you mentioned, also involves people being entertained and yes. engaging with their media right. and their content, which is something that Panasonic is right in, yes. right in your wheelhouse. Yes, yes. To Absolutely. use a car analogy, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, um, what else are you thinking about here at CES 2023? Anything else you want to share? So we're really excited um, to be part of CES. Uh, we're, we are here more than 50 years, actually, wow. and it has been really wonderful to partner with CES, uh, CES and CTA yeah. and evolved into um, a platform that we can project what we have become in, in this market. Um, I know uh, CTA is really focused on sustainability, so we are, mm -hmm. and we kind of want to tell that story together, and it's really exciting yeah. partnership. A true pillar of CES. Uh, last question. Yeah. Um, I, I looked up on your bio and I saw that you're on the board of the Newark Museum yeah. of Art. Right. Does your appreciation for art impact the way that you do business? Absolutely. So uh, we are heavily, our uh, corporate outreach is heavily focused on STEM, uh, but I'm an art major. And there is a um, quality that art plays in individual growing up. I don't think it's all about the science and math. We have to have we have to be a whole person, mm -hmm. and we believe in growing as an individual and as an organization. And um, so, st yeah. STEAM yes. is a wonderful way to really encourage that, and and that's why I'm part of the Newark Museum. Well, it's cool to see an art major in charge of uh, yeah. such a uh, such technology. a technology focused exactly. business. Exactly, Megan right. Mung Wan Lee. Thank, thank you so you. much for joining us here in the C Space Studio of Panasonic North America. Thank, thank you. Thank so you very much. much. And thank you so much for sticking with us. We will sort out this alarm and get back to you. I'm James Kotecki. This is the C-Space Studio here at CES 2023. Keep it right here, because unless they kick us out, we're not going anywhere.